Hey guys, I want to show you four different 4x12 cabinet impulse responses on my newly updated Two Notes Torpedo Live, emulating the Fredman miking technique. So, if anyone doesn't know what the Fredman miking technique is, it's with two short SM57s, one is at the center of the speaker, and another is 45 degrees off axis. And it was first used by Inflames as part of the Clayman sound. So I'm going to demonstrate with my Jackson Double R X24 with just Seymour Duncan Blackout pickup. And I'm using a Randall RGOD that is boosted by the Seymour Duncan 805 and the MXR 10 band and Q. And the noise is pressed by an ISP decimator too, which are all before the preamp. And the signal chain is ended with the Boss DD6 going to the line in. So you're going to hear this from the headphones out with some computer speakers. And I know I need to get new speakers. So this is a dry signal. So. So I'm engaging the delay and the EQ to show you a difference in the tone. I'm gonna engage the RGOD and the 805 with the EQ still on. So this is the Mesa Boogie 4x12 with V30s. And here it is. All right, up next is the diesel 4x12 impulse response. Oh, heads up, all four of those impulse responses are without a power ramp simulation. Just to let you know. <coughs> Next is the angle 4x12 with V30s. And the reverb is at 5% for all the impulse responses that I'm using. So, angle 412. <laughs> Thank you. 
Last but not least is the Bogner 4x12 with vintage 30s. And it's the same technique. So. <coughs> Alright, this is what it is. Those are the four four by twelve impulse responses, in which I had attempted to emulate the Fredman Mikan technique. So if you like what you see, you can check out my other videos. You can check out my guitar covers if you'd like to, and don't forget to show some love for my band. We released another single, and there's more to come. So hope you guys like this demo, and I hope to catch y'all on the flip side.